Happy New Year. <laughs> the mecca of bodybuilding. This is where all the full timers <laughs> hang out. <laughs> back in it. Dude, you're back to full time bodybuilding. <laughs> look at you. What? Do I look different? You're all fucking blown up, bro. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying. Dude, you look like you're full time again. I am full time. Weighing my food. I, I have something special for for Mr. Jeff. Uh oh. Jeff, come over here, man. Jeff's over here. Jeff is our dude at Gold's. He's our go to guy. We love him. He's hiding the arms on me today. He's... Should I pop the top? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's our boy. I, you get special delivery from Vegas. <laughs> you, you know, Concord, fresh, uh, and I got something else special for you. Jeff's hooked on that stuff. This is the best stuff I have ever had. One, the pumps keep me going. I'm still pumped from you 3 know, uh, a.m. or yeah, 4 a.m. You know workout. What? It's going to be nice next week because uh, I launched the Sour Series. I've seen that. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm going to give you a scoop. We're trying to actually get it in here oh, yeah? for you guys oh, to yeah, carry it. Yeah. yeah, I talked to Nico. And so we don't know yet, but. And I, the Prevail, I don't get jittery. I don't feel like any. <laughs> Did you try the protein before? I've never had No? This. You're gonna love this. There he is. You knew the flavor too. <laughs> <laughs> so much amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. John was here, you know, training at the You got hooked up, man. He's, he's, I got some coming too. I'll show you this guy in the morning. Yeah. Can't wait for this. Yeah, man. Thanks for waiting, dude. Thank you. Hey, thanks, guys. What is that? Oh, I thought you forgot. <laughs> thanks, Joe. Oh, I figured he was here with you. No, he texted me. What was it? It was a Thursday. See you guys. See you, Jeff. Take care, bro. Thank you. You know, this was the sample day of. Yeah, the blue, yeah. You see it says lime heads. This is actually the green worm that just got released. Oh, is it out? It's launched today. Oh, you, shit. You haven't watched my stories, I guess, huh? I've been training, dude. You know there's no phone when oh, I train. Oh, my bodybuilding. <laughs> Not looking at the phone when I train. But they get happy when I'll say full-time bodybuilding. <laughs> I'm sure they will be. They get all excited. Cool. So, we're going to do a little back training today. Nice. And, uh... I guess I got plenty of water, huh? Yeah, you're hooked up. I brought all this extra stuff. I brought you some protein. I know, thank you. It was just about it. Look, I'm using sample units. I don't even open new units for myself. How's that? Busted? <laughs> Chris, if you're watching I this. commented. You see what I wrote? <laughs> I saw it. What he, com write? he commented back. Oh, what did he say? Uh, I can't remember now. But he did comment back. You'll have to look. He loves it. When you say busted Chris too. is in Miami right now, living the dream. He's living the life. Are you telling you're, him that? You're, you're living the life over here. You I'm, telling him that? Now I'm living the life. I had, dude. I get jealous. I'm like, fuck you. You're living the life. I gotta come over here and live the life a little bit too. <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to be retired right now. What does he say? I'm retired. You're retired. You think you're still employed, but you're not really. What do you mean? You work on your own time. I know, but I, I, you know what? This I was gonna. I was gonna say something about that. You're right, I make my own schedule, which is awesome. But when you work like the way we do now, you end up working a lot more hours if you add them up than you would normally, but it's fun. No, I know, I know, but we we go on our own time. So if it's you great. wanna take a break and go work out, you, you wanna go to the movies. If I wanna take a day how off. How many movies did you see this week? <laughs> yeah, I thought two, two, in a, two in a row, like uh, okay, yeah, two, that's two different I mean. days. So two yeah. days in a row, and you didn't go late, you were going no, at- No, you're right. Four or five you're absolutely right it's just but i find myself the thing is i like what i do so much that if i have to work early some morning or late I super know, late but at you're night retired from working for the man that's what i'm saying oh fuck yeah you're not working for the man no no, no, no you I work, work for yourself for, yeah that's great that's awesome i mean you kind of work for me but i am i'm not a very good boss i don't think <laughs> i think you're a great i boss. don't give any instructions that's for sure well it's because you have other things to worry about you you still give advice no, but and, I, I don't want to cut into your full-time body <laughs> <laughs> well, I work when I have to, and that's. You look like you gained about twenty pounds. Really? Yeah. Wow. Good pounds or fat? No, you look like you put on fullness now. Okay. I mean, you're not super ripped, but no, you're not no, trying no. to be right. But now, I was right? soft, though. I was really, I was soft and skinny. But now you're what? In the between? Just, yeah, I think I'm, I'm. I don't think I'm much leaner. Maybe a little bit, but. How much do you weigh now? I, I, over to twenty, I would say. I would say, yeah. 
what are we going to see a lot of bodybuilders in here today? Uh, at this time, yeah, Friday at this time. It's about 4.30. Quiet down. Yeah. Right. Well, I just did the drive in. How was and the drive? I, it's the New Year's now, so it's our first yeah. Gold's Gym Venice workout. First I told video. you I needed my fix for a little while, right? No, you haven't been here in a minute. I know, but you've been kind of keeping me updated, but you're not here as much right now either. Well, during the holiday, I wasn't. You know, so we went to San Diego, we went to Palm Springs, we, I went to Vegas, of course, you know, but yeah. But well, a lot of, lot of cool stuff happening now. We have LA Fit Expo at the end of the month. Yeah. Um, Dexter's back in town, prepping for the Arnold now. He's here. How many so. weeks until the Arnold Classic? You know? you know, I think I said it was eight on the last video with Sergio, but I think it was a little bit more than that. So it's got to be right around eight now, I would think. There's Dorian right there. Where? What's up, man? Oh, there he is. Okay. Not Yates. Not Yates. <laughs> Not Dorian Yates. I, anytime I come to town, you're in town. <laughs> How's it going, man? Same way here. I think uh, last time I was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. probably the last time I was here. Yeah, right? yeah, for yeah. The, the Legion show. Uh, yeah, close. Yeah, that's right. You're in town. How are you getting ready for uh, what show? Indie Pro. Dance. Indie Pro. Yeah. yeah. The movie May. You do that every year. That show, right? Three in a row. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Day for, uh, yeah, he just pulled up. Winner. Hey guys, free Monday. Yeah, I'll be around for a few days. How's uh, how's the weather back home? Cold? Not too bad. It's like 45 and sunny. Oh, I see nice. you train your stuff. I'm watching your stuff. I'm training hard, hard, huh? So I'm here. Train I don't know if you'll train harder at this gym or train harder at home. You know? One day, one day, one day there, you make me break. I feel like I gotta ride the occasion around here. Well, we'll be, we'll be in the train. So, hey, hey, guys, can we get doing? a picture yeah, of you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. How you doing, man? You guys doing good? Good, yeah, good. Nice, nice, nice meeting you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good job. <laughs> Let me go on the other side. Did you bring your side? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Thank Where you, buddy. Where are you guys here from? Brazil. Brazil. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where are you guys, huh? Yeah, that's I like to get my gold in Venice fixed. I like to come train here. Yeah. Are you guys living out here right now? Yeah, I, I've, I've been living here for like eight okay. years. Yeah. I've Are been you staying here too? Or? Yeah, I've lived here for like three years. Yeah. You train at the gym all the time here? Or you yeah, live? I've been getting back because I moved to Florida to work in construction okay. for a couple of years. I didn't have time to work out. It was like long so days. Getting it back now. So I had a bunch of injuries when I came back a couple of years ago and I've been slowly working my way through, fixing everything up. like. I've been having problems like rolling my shoulders forward, so I'm trying to correct my posture. Yeah, a lot of it, my right there's knees. some tissue work too, you know, that needs tissue work. So a lot yeah. of really the posture, things, you know? uh, it's kind of expensive it is here expensive, in LA, yeah. you know, it is. like it's... It is expensive to live in, that's why I live in Las Vegas. Yeah, so I keep rolling on the floor of my apartment, like on a ball and foam rollers and stuff like that to try to release everything. But yeah, uh, I actually had a car accident earlier this year. A lady hit me on the back. And uh, through the insurance, I went through this neuromuscular therapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they used to get for tissue And work. he found like uh, some adhesion on my fascia, my fascia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, uh, right on the serrators anterior, right in the back here, like the yep. inside everything. So that was kind of like causing a lot more problems, yep. getting like numbly on but this. I used to see a therapist, a neuromuscular therapist, for every week, Steve Murphy. Yep. Was, uh, was my therapist, he's in Orange County, he's unbelievable, and that really changed my body a lot. That propelled me from like 99 place and second to last at the Olympia, within two years I was almost winning the show. Oh. It, it changed, I worked every single week I did it, and it really, because I was really pinched. Yeah. So it allowed me to really open, open my shoulders, up. so when I was hitting the poses, think about when I was like this, I, I couldn't really pose, so yeah. when I opened up, I was that much wider, my shoulders got wider, my lats, like I was just really bunched up from gaining so much muscle so fast. Nice, yeah. You gotta keep everything pliable. Yeah, that's what they, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not big, but that's what they told me. That's what they told me, like you're, you're having too much adhesion, you're building muscle yes, tissue on top you, of adhesion. Yes, because as you build, as you build, you get too tight. So yeah. you gotta keep everything loose and the fascia, yeah. remember a fascia gets too tight, then it won't pump and it won't grow. So the looser fascia tissue, will expand and you'll get more nutrients in there and more blood flow so allow it to expand and you'll get bigger muscles otherwise it's just too hard you know do you think that uh like yoga helps for that or i mean 10 years ago it didn't really exist so i would have said no but yeah. yes i think there's so many new ways i did pilates training kettlebells i did everything yeah i'm still doing it i 
I still feel great. My body feels like brand new. Nice. Taking I care no, of your body. I have no pain, no joint pain. I can do ever, all my pressing movements. Still, I can still train heavy, but I just don't. That's cool. Yeah. It's more important. Yeah. Hey, anytime you're inside, I'm gonna hit you up. We're gonna hit a <laughs> set together. Nice meeting you, man, Marcos. Good to see you guys. Okay. Yeah. See you. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, of course. Take care. Yeah. When I go to Las Vegas, I'll let you know. Yes, yes. You have a gym over there? No, I just I train at all the gyms, you know. Okay. A lot of us are out there. A lot okay. of guys come out there. Right now. Anyways, take care, man. Thank you. Alright, so back in it. <laughs> we're in a different spot. <laughs> we are at the Mecca Bodybuilding. About to get back to the <laughs> yeah. That's my monster. Love show, it. Show everyone how much bigger you got. Oh no, I'm not likely. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do our social media. Everyone loves the channel, bro. Yeah? I think we're sending so that email. Many, so many pros are hitting us up. Like, yeah? Yeah. We got a lot of good stuff coming, Jose and Guy and all. We have to do a little bit more Skype because uh, some of these we guys need to we can't get Chris reach. Cito back on too, I, think. I would love that. He's got great stories, man. I love when he tell old stories. I want to show. Uh, I'm going to show you something now. Okay. On the camera, so everyone can kind of see. Okay. So I launched something really cool. So. This is my new sour series with my face. Yeah. <laughs> so I launched two new flavors. This is a lime green. That's what I was just drinking, actually. And this is my rainbow candy. If you can see, my head's like exploding with the sourness. Yeah. So that's the new Prevail, which is my new pre-workout. I'm going to launch a whole series now. Um, the Aminos, Essential Aminos, right. uh, the Generate. And also, uh, we're going to launch the Amplify in a sour series oh, flavor. Nice. So we're gonna do a whole series on it, but that it launched out now. So when this video goes live, is now available on the site. We're having a ton of New Year's uh, specials on there. So by by how many? But we've already like this month, Dave. We're on the third day of the month. Where you going? I'll tell you the numbers off camera. But we actually we crushed it already. I was gonna ask you. I was thinking once since you stopped actually shipping yourself. Have you noticed an increase, a decrease? What have you noticed well, since the, you? Well, the availability is for the orders to go out quicker because someone is there every single day. You know, I got about a staff of 10 people right now oh, wow. um, running the warehouse in, in Pennsylvania. So it allows me to be able to focus more on the media side and the travel and do what I need to do um, where it doesn't restrict me. But now that they're doing all the shipping, people are getting it much faster, but it's just the volume is way too much, man. I couldn't pack and ship all those orders. I mean, you're talking some days up, you know, a thousand orders a day. It's crazy. But I'm just saying, do you feel like financially, and don't give me any numbers, but do you feel it's actually been better since you stopped well, doing it? Well, the only problem is, is that the clothes, remember, in transit. So now yeah. all the clothing is pretty much live. I just put in a big order for more uh, shirts. We kind of restock the ones that we're keeping, but we're launching all the new designs coming out now. Ooh. So like the, the pig head version of stuff, like that's going to be a big mover now. Like we're really focused on expanding the pig head line, um, which has nothing to do with you know nutrition or whatever. But we're going to do a lot of stuff off the nutrition brand. But the pig head tees are going to go like on Amazon and everywhere because I think that brand's going to be on its own. Mm. I mean, I talked about even doing a kind of, some sort of a like a, a supplement type thing with the pig series. You know? Wow. Okay. So we're doing different things with that, and uh, and then the nutrition things we're going to expand off of. That's really going to be the main focus. Athletics. And all that, I want to do cut and sew for specialty items, but I wanted to work under the Four Crowns brand, which is my other brands. And gotcha. of course, Swole Monkey too. Gotcha. But it's allowing me, uh, you know, be able to focus more on like the back end stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm on the phone all day long, uh, but we've had a huge success. I mean, like I said, we, we, we crashed anything I ever expected in 2019. And 2020, we're already coming out of the gate, bro. Like, I know January's a busy month anyway. I know. So yeah. I'm not gonna sit there and brag about how great we do, but I'm really, what I'm happy about is people love the products. Mm. And I feel like all the stuff we're coming out with is very, very advanced. Uh, a lot of repeat to, business, can you A lot tell? of repeat business, yeah, but nice. I think, you know, like Jeff says, you know, he loves the taste. 
the quality is great with the pump, especially the Amplify, and then the Prevail. These new flavors are going to crush it for That's us. That's awesome. And the new protein, the Cocoa Puffs <gasps> protein. When's that coming out? End mid, of January. Mid, oh, wow. So That's it's great. in production now. Nice. It takes Very about cool. a six-week run, so we've already had it in production. Awesome. Ready to go, so. Very cool. All right, we're going to hit it. So we're going to go do some back training and uh, show these guys in Gold's in Venice how to do it. <laughs> I don't know if they know how to pick up weights anymore here. <laughs> oh, there's Jeff. Jeff, who who look who finally arrived. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here to work. Yes, sir. We're in the bar. Guy. How you doing, man? You we doing? caught him. Were you about to go home? What's up? Were you about to go home? We caught you right before? You caught me, man. Ah, thank you God. I, I told him. I said, it's just it's coming tomorrow. So, yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah, very yeah, cool. He just had to stay and welcome me, and now he's good. He's, yeah, I can, yeah, now my, my name Je is complete. Jeff is so good to ask me. He's a good guy. He does a great job here. Thanks, I Jeff. appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. Look at that. I love, I love coming to Gold's Venice, so I don't even have to change, put plates on it. <laughs> They knew you were coming. They knew, huh? They knew you were coming. I told everyone. <laughs> <They knew. laughs> so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do these pull downs first. I'm gonna mix them up. Straps here. I'm gonna use one pink and one red. <laughs> People are glad to see you, man. It's been a minute. It's nice. It's always good to come here, bro. I always yeah. told you I need, uh, sometimes I need that motivation, you know? Yeah. And you know, you've trained in Vegas. Yeah, good gym. It's just different, you know, different vibe. I guess I like, you know, I like coming out and, uh, this is where it all kind of started for me. I talk about that in a lot of the videos. Yeah. I always two warm up sets. And then uh, we're going to do three working sets, okay? So right. we can throw a couple sets. And I'm going to I'm gonna grip this the normal way because people like to change up the machines here a lot. Second exercise is going to be one arm rows, and this is what we're going to use right here. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Do you remember when I used to throw this? You don't want to get big anymore. Huh? You don't want to get big anymore. You know, I would use this. I just, I just don't want my lats to get too big. <laughs> <laughs> so I really just try to, I'm going to try to really engage my lats. So you notice I'll set up a little bit. And I'll kind of lock my shoulder. You know, I was just thinking about when I was doing these. 
what gym can you come to that you can do this outdoor activity stuff? It's crazy. Like you look around and all this different activity is going on right now. This is a very famous wall for a lot of people that I know. do a lot of their stuff out here. Yeah. But like, you, when you put up that picture on your Instagram this morning, I was a little like, damn, I'm going there, you know? <laughs> Were you happy? Yeah. You did that on purpose. Of course I, I did it, yeah. You're doing that to mess with all the people and <laughs> such, all the cold places right now. Because that's where I remember seeing that back in the day. I said, this is where I want to be. So it's just a little bit incentive for people. Well, Pete, make sure people understand. If you're watching a video for the first time, this guy behind the camera is from Montreal. That's right. So I know cold. So poor Laura <laughs> Lee's there right now. I know she hates it. And Sean was there too. I can't know, dude. He's, he's like, I'm, I'm in frozen hell, he says. I'm in frozen hell. <laughs> I think he's back now, though. No, no, he's still there. I just texted him. Oh, really? Yeah. I saw it. I know, it said something I'm going to miss you or something. I thought he, I think he's leaving. No, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'll be back soon, but as far as I know, he's still there. He's going right. to get back to the full-time bodybuilding stuff. Yep, yep. All right, we're going to walk a little bit. I'm actually going to re-wrap some of this. I don't think anyone re-wraps the weights. Etiquette. Plastic weights. This is just plastic. <laughs> if you remember how, you know, I used to train. I used to do a lot of free weight movement. Yep. T bar rows, bent barbell rows. Uh, one arm dumbbell rows. Always, or did you kick that up more like after 03, 04? It seems like you kind of intensify after those yeah, years. I, you know, the Ronnie years, right? Yeah. That definitely, I picked it up for for that. I went heavier, you know. I think I went a little too heavy. I think it ended up damaging my back a little bit. Yeah. If you remember, I had one side that was a little off, you know? Mm. Bar bent over a little again <laughs> when I quit. <laughs> that lasted about three months. I'm trying to figure out if I ever thought I was going to come back and compete again. Did I ever talk about that? No, but I'm wondering what the hold up is. <laughs> no, but do you remember when I used to? I don't know if I ever talked about it. No, I remember. Specifically after 11 that you said you would never step on a bodybuilding stage again to compete and Of course, you know, you came back in 13 That's why when you say never I'm always kind of like hmm, okay. We'll see <laughs> You know, what's funny uh, Why do you think I don't want I never wanted to compete again? I don't know Do you remember what it was what my complaint was? No, I don't it think... It was my peaking issues, right? Yeah, but I don't think you ever told me. I don't think you ever said specifically what it was about. I think I was frustrated with 
If you remember, my last week was hell for me, right? I know. That was the hardest part for me, Dave. Yeah. Was, you notice I always went through different phases to deplete water and all that, right? I know. I never thought you needed it. I just, you know, I remember seeing you 10 days out, you'd send me pictures or I was at the house and it was like, please tell me you're not going to do anything crazy because it just looks so good to Wait, me. Like, do you remember when in like 2010 I was like on my deathbed, remember that? I know. Watch that stuff, yeah. I know. I remember. I mean, it was so bad. That's enough to make you want to quit. You know? I think by then I was just in the bicep tear. Yeah. It just kind of did me in mentally, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then my body was kind of working against me at that point, right? Yeah. And that's what was frustrating for me. Yeah. But it's funny because I, I spoke to a lot of pros and people from the industry about your comeback in 13. And they just said, you know, if Jay had more time, if you actually took two years instead of just one year to come back, yeah. you would have done so much better. And I understand why you did it because, of, you know, the contract with DPI and the comeback, and I get that. But I also feel that way. I feel like if you actually had time to get back that density yeah, and that, you I know. I only had about three months of rhythm, you know. I know. Towards the end, you were like, oh, I'm in it now, you know, but it's just too short, you know, to compete yeah, at was, that level. But I was confident how I looked, you know. Oh, you look great. I know. Still was very happy with the streamlined look, you know? Yeah. I know it wasn't what I was in the rugged years, you know? Yeah. But I, I was pretty happy with it. Yeah. And that was after the bicep tear coming back and all that stuff. It's like, you know, your arm looked good. Yeah, but what people don't know is this tear happened. Yeah. You know, had this one fixed. And then when I was training, I literally announced I was coming back to compete 13 and within that week I remember I was on the bus tour and I went to go grab dumbbells off the rack I'm doing chest and I grabbed hundreds and when I picked the dumbbells up that popped I was like fuck and I'm like and then I noticed right away it gapped a little bit and I'm like oh man and I'm thinking in my head like fuck now I have to compete with a partial torn bicep here yeah and i knew leading up to the show it hindered me from training if you remember do you remember when we were shooting yep i was I just gonna say shoot, that shoot from the other side i was just gonna say that we we were shooting for muscular development and i would tell you don't shoot from the side because you could see when i would pull and do rows yeah you could see the the gap yeah and i didn't want to show that i know because you know people would love, love to harp on like of course jay's like weak points, right? Yeah. I so I knew that would that. be I knew that would be an issue. Yeah. And uh so I remember telling you, hey don't don't shoot from this angle. Yeah. That sucked, you know? When you, I know. when you have to tell someone don't shoot shoot from an angle. I know. I remember. Now it's like you don't give a fuck, right? No. You just, <laughs> just shoot it, right? That's it. You can't hide on social media nowadays. No. You know what I'm saying? It, Pictures you back then we could have, because there was no video then, right? Nope. Oh, dude, that series was the best. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Good time.
Big D. What's going on over here? Hey. Hey, Dorian. Back in town, man. I know. Me and James' schedule seem to coordinate pretty well. <laughs> I know, right? We, we always plan our visits to meet up like this, you know? <laughs> it just happens by itself. He's a little bigger than the last I time I saw him, though, I, right? I was just going to say that. Yeah. It's been a really, really good offseason. Yeah? Uh, actually, this has been by far the most productive offseason yet. Um, everything's just coming together, you know? Uh, everything's just jiving, clicking, so a lot more raw tissue this year. And first on, on deck is uh, May 9th, Indie Pro. Dave uh, Bowers. Yeah, like I said, Austin is great. I'm performing great. I feel great. Health is in the right spot. Blood work looks good. It's time to go. Indie Pro. That's the third time in a row you're doing that show, right? Third time in a row. You like that, show, you like that show to start the season? Say what? You like that show to start your season? I think so. Uh, I definitely want to do Puerto Rico. You know, what's good now these, May, these May shows are closer together because it's that one, New York Pro, uh, the Cali didn't get the same weekend, so it gives us a lot of, uh, a lot of flexibility to decide what's going to be best. Nice. How much do you weigh right now? Right over 270. Okay. So is your ultimate goal to compete in the Mr. Olympia contest qualifying? Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a long time goal. So, I'm going to keep working until I do it. I want to do well at it, to be honest with you. I'm going to work my way up. All right. Your upper body is caught up to the legs now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was always a thing. He always like needed to move his upper body and catch up because his weird. wheels are great. Yeah, it's weird. We heard from Steve and Sandy yeah, as yeah. every leg the, the upper back the back and did it. So you know now we'll be all down there. I think uh, we're excited for the season's gonna go. Nice. Right. How many weeks are you? Sixteen, I believe. All right, good. Yeah. So this is the final uh, stretch. Get ball. together yeah. and then you start full swing. Then. Yep. Are you going to come back down prior to the, that show at all? Yeah. He'll be here. I go to Denver. He'll be, he'll, I'll be going to Denver. He'll be coming here. So. But then, he, is he going to do the California Pro also? No, we're actually thinking about, um, we might, you know, uh, Puerto Rico is the same weekend. Okay, okay. So we might, you know, we might buy okay. back to New York and get Puerto Rico. And, uh, you know, because we have, uh, the, after May 9th, there could be a two week break in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is the first break. Guess it, yeah. guess it depends on how Indy goes, right? Exactly. If you qualify, what's the step? Shut it down. That's it. <laughs> yeah. He's in. Yeah. Oh, he's in. We'll watch you. We'll, we'll be eating a uh, ticket to break you a bunch of food. Watch some of the show here. All right. Yeah. Awesome. That sounds great. Cool. Yeah. I'm seeing I'll do Puerto Rico. The spectator will come on. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I think I'll be in a time before the Indy Pro for sure. Yeah. Probably within a month out of the Indy Pro, I'll be back. Awesome. He's, best, he's used to training in that high altitude. Too, I know. So he's got the advantage. He comes down here, he can out train the Venice guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. BPO. This All is right. easy workout for you, right? Doesn't get a Doesn't get a Yeah. All right, best of luck with the prep, Dorian. Hey, Hope to see you again before the show. All right, All right man. Right there. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. I'm just What's, with that? What's with that hat? Well, you know what? You're cheating. 
I'm cheap because you know what? I'm a sponsored uh, Cutler athlete. You know what? He's, you know why he's here? Why? Because he knows you're here. No, I texted him. Yeah. Number one, he loves to see me. But yeah, of course. <laughs> I said, I have hats for you because I'm tired of seeing your sweated out hat on, on the internet. And it got a little smelly, I'll be honest. I told Bruce, I said, when I see you with that camo hat, that's like your uniform. No, but I got, now I got... Yeah, we're, we're back. We're back. The band's back together. Oh, boy. I can take sponsored athlete now, right? <laughs> Bruce. What's going on, man? Oh, I love that bag. It's great to travel on the bike with. Easy, right? Yeah, man. Tongue's a pocket. How you doing, Jay? What's going on? Big fan. Yeah. They have a lot of shows down there. Costa Rica, a lot of shows here. Yeah? I think I'll do smart. Uh, Pelo Camarera? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he beat me at the Olympia last year. Oh, yeah, amateur Olympia. Yeah. He's the one who beat you pro. Wow. At the Olympia, you won your pro card? Yeah. Nice. How's that machine? You know, I like to come and do different, different movements, right? Yeah. Do you use this one or? Uh, I think I did it once or twice. Pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're kind of limited. That's what we got, right? Mm. So when I come train at different gyms, you know, especially now that I'm not competitive, it's a little easier to to kind of do some altering to my training. I'm not as concerned about, okay, this definitely works, right? Yeah. So it gives case. me a little variety. So, this will be my heaviest. Some with it, it twisted in, some twisted out. This one felt the best. So I start almost like an underhand, kind of like I was doing back rows. You don't have chaps. Which is the best set? Watch my watch my uh, my handles. Watch. You get, 
You got a pump? I actually got a pump, but I don't know if it's from the amplifier or from training hard. <laughs> Maybe both. Hopefully both. I'm going to blame it on the amplifier. <laughs> okay. You watching the channel? Yep. Oh, good. Really good. Thank really you. Really inspirational. Thanks for watching, yeah. you guys. Thank you. <laughs> He's watching the channel. That's awesome. Oh, you'll be on it. <laughs> there you go. You made it, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. New machine. It's the same as the other one, I think. Yeah, it's the brand. You can't use it. Yeah. Wild Will. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's the 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 Normal lifestyle. Yeah, normal lifestyle. You know, it's country folk. I remember when you never even would train at Cold Springs. Yeah, I know. You remember when you were training at the city? Uh, so we was at Angel oh, City. Oh, yeah, yeah. City and World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we bumped over here. We were the only training game in town, so what you going to do? Are you still training a lot of people here? Or? Yeah. Yeah, early morning, or? early morning, and then I come back later. Are you training right now? Or? Yeah, I'm about to start now. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. We came at a good time. Yeah. <laughs> we came yeah, at a good time. Great. Yeah, just, just keeping it going. You know, once we started, can't really stop it. Shout out to all the people out there. Big Will. You know. Big all right, Will. man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we are at Gold's Gym, Venice. Just finished a back workout. A lot of faces here tonight, right? <laughs> a lot of people happy to see me. I was so jealous this morning when you posted that damn picture. <laughs> and you said, I think you did it to dig at me a little bit because you knew I was coming here and you wanted to psych me up a little bit. So you were on. Uh... <laughs> I said the January 3rd in paradise. And you were on your way here, yeah. Um, but uh, I'm much wondering what this guy's doing. He's looking at my car. Um, so uh, we came out here to do some back. I, I wanted to get away from Las Vegas a little bit and uh, get into the sun. I mean, you mentioned you wanted to come to Vegas. I'm like, you know what? Let me come out to let me come out to uh, California and get a little bit of the, the mecca. And I talked about like walking in and the air of like the air of Las Las Vegas isn't like the air of California when you walk in the gym. Unfortunately, tonight the doors were closed when we walked in, right? You notice that? I didn't notice. Yeah, the, so the doors were, the doors were, uh, they were closed, which normally the air is flowing through. So tomorrow, hopefully, when I walk in, I'm going to yeah, train midday, midday yeah. tomorrow. And we're going to get a couple segments in. But this is the first workout of Gold's Gym Venice for the new year, 2020. I can't believe a decade's passed. Right? Crazy. And uh, you see all the familiar faces in here. And I used to train late at night here. And I was kind of laughing at one of the guys because I said he'll be here until midnight. It was <laughs> early before six o'clock. I was training, and uh, you know I used to come in here at night. And I was training for Olympias. You remember filming J to Z? And, yeah. You know we had the store just walking distance from here. And if you guys haven't been to California, like the Gold Gym Venice is just like the horror is so much. It's so crazy. And I got to speak to a few people in there. And Doreen was there training. You know from from Colorado and. You know, when you come in the area, it's like the, the air, the aura of everything and being around like greatness. Like I talked about, I said the walls of greatness, right? 
um, you know, this is so monumental. You know how many people have taken pictures in front of this? So when we did this wrap-up, I wanted to be, like, in the most famous spot. This is, at the age of 18, I remember taking a picture, Kerry and I, right in front of this, this <laughs> painting right here, in uh, the famous Gold Gym guy. And uh, it's just uh, it's just amazing to be out here. And hopefully tomorrow the weather's great. You know, I looked when I looked actually to come out here. You know, number one, I looked at the rates to see how much it would cost. But number two, I was uh, I would check the weather. And you said to me, the weather's gonna be nice. I said, yeah, I already checked the weather. <laughs> so I'm excited to be out here and get a little bit, uh, give everyone you know an update for the new year and kind of you know moving in the direction. I, I mentioned on social media. Like, no change of plans going into the new year because I've already been on my A game, right? Uh, I had a busy trade uh, traveling season last year, and now, you know, looking forward to this year, which I always say every year I'm going to do a little less traveling, and I'm going to be more apparent on social media. So we're really going to step up the YouTube game, uh, really try to get some new personalities to feature some, you know, of course, current stars, but also... Um, some up and coming stars so and people from the past we haven't seen in a while yeah so if you guys want to comment below on maybe who you guys would like to see on our channel and we'll do our best and remember we're kind of we don't mobily go around to events so we we kind of do things as we transition around um, and people that come to LA so if you are planning to come to LA you know some top uh, contenders that are coming to LA make sure you guys drop us a message they don't always tell us and we find out it's too late they're gone yeah, yeah. so so you know we try to feature as much and people like we're trying to feature the new personalities remember this platform is for people that don't have the visibility to get on here and hopefully they step to becoming great or they start their own channels and then you know we can kind of collab that way but this is a platform that we wanted to do we talked about this for many many years um, I love to highlight my stuff on here and talk about what's going on with me, but I also want to give people the opportunity to be visible and male, female, amateur, pros, whatever it is. You know, we don't discriminate against anyone. We've featured all types on here. You know, we have Ask the Doc, we've got Eric the Trainer, we have, you know, all the sponsored events like Project AD and, you know, Brad Rowe with the new newbie. With new, newbie, yeah. Newbie, yeah, the newbie machine. Uh, we have so much stuff on there, so the insurance deal, I mean, yeah. you guys see all this stuff, it's a huge opportunity, and that's, it's knowledge for people out there to learn, and uh, it's always what we're trying to do, 2020 is going to be a stellar year for us. Tomorrow we may do a special, very special jaywalking, so stay tuned for that, we're going to come that tomorrow with a, maybe a little twist, a little surprise, so you want to you wanna stay tuned for the prop, for the next jaywalking in California. Is jaywalking still our favorite? Uh, what do people tell you? They tell me they love that segment. It's one of their, even though it's just you walking around talking about whatever, they just love it. So, just goes to show you. Yeah, there you go. Come yeah, yeah, there you go. This is the kind of bodies we got at Cole's Gym Venice. Full time bodybuilding. Full time bodybuilding. You're ready. What are you training? What are you training today? Uh, back. Oh, we just yeah. did that. I know, I just got in. I forgot my jug, so I had to run out. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. The bodybuilding Where are you from jug. Originally? Uh, California. Born and raised in California. Uh, Temecula is where. I was born. Shout out your Instagram on here. This is for the YouTube oh, channel. Oh, okay, yeah. My Instagram is at Matt Michael K. Spell that? Uh, M A T T M I C H A E L. Okay. And then K. All right, cool. Yeah. Do you love training at Gold's Venice? Favorite place to train. Why? Um, just this for the is sole a common reason. question. Yeah, sole reason you never know who you're going to run into. Is I mean, it the aura of, uh, like, you feel like you can come in here and you can kill a worker? I came in at 18 and I was just mentioning I took a picture in front of this at the age of 18 mm -hmm. because it's so mon monumental, right? Oh, yeah. So, like, do you remember the first time you came into Gold Venice? Yeah, I came in on my birthday, like, three years ago, and I trained. I was training for, like, five hours straight. I did a full chest workout. I did the same full <laughs> back workout, yeah. Just, like, wasn't hungry, nothing. Afterwards, I was hungry, but during, I was just enjoying the moment. I was looking around at all the crazy physiques that I saw and just was being inspired because if you're on a 24-hour LA Fitness, you know, I might be like maybe the biggest guy in there, and I'm like that big. But then I come here, and it's now you train with Joey Swall sometimes, so you're not yeah. the biggest anymore. Or I see Jay Cutler, and he's still giant. Well, <laughs> Joey Swall trains earlier, no? No, he trains he trains at night. I just yeah, yeah. trained with him the other day well, at like five. I know you were training with him last time, like a couple of times, like, mm -hmm. ago, right? And how come he's not here tonight? I'm not sure. He might have trained earlier. <laughs> Hopefully, he sees that Joey, you're missing in action, dude. Exactly. He needs to come <laughs> back. Cutler Did wants you to know where you are. YouTube channels. Or yeah. You um, isn't it crazy how it's trained? Like I was a magazine guy, you know, and now it's so easy like, to learn how to train and 
you must see guys doing different techniques in here and kind of pick up doing certain things yep. that you wouldn't have maybe done, right? Yeah, like I see things that Charles Glass does. Like I copy him a lot. What's actually. your favorite body part to turn? Back right now. Yeah, it has to be that's back. Right. But I, mean, I get back tonight. I get yep. back Did you? Tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I missed it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, no secrets, though, bro. You'll you have to watch the video. Well, I just, I just watched what he used to do what he does now. But YouTube is such a great source because when I was starting out, I would go on YouTube and look at physiques that, like, maybe this guy has a great chest, this guy has a great back, and I would watch their workout, and I'd kind of combine them into my own. And what I'm, are you aspiring to do in fitness? Um, right now, I, ha I do have my own. I got sponsored by ProSup, so they yeah. sponsor me. I'm one of their like main sponsor athletes. But you're, so you would consider it to be an Instagram, or, or I guess so. Or yeah. you want to get on stage and compete or something? Right. Yeah, I want to get on stage and compete. Right now, I am just like an Instagram guy, I guess. But the goal is to compete in classic physique. So I'm hoping to do that maybe sometime this year, like around summer. So 2020, that's your goal. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's sitting around like 2:30 right now, so I think it should be. Good striking distance. Good, man. Awesome. Uh, just make sure you follow this guy. Check it out. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll put the address. We got to get right. Joey's. I got to get I know. Joey's I know. I'm always impressed. I was actually on Instagram today. He posted a picture. And how do, he's always in great shape. Always in one? shape. Dude, he's always in it great shape. It upsets me. <laughs> always in shape. He's, you know, and I don't know if he told you, like, when he first came, he did the first interview with us. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned yeah. that's when his name was Joey uh, Sergo. Sergo. Yeah. And that's how he, he it was before Swole started, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Instagram. way before. It was before Instagram, I think, yeah. actually. Probably. We featured him, and I used to send him shirts and whatever. He still wears my big shirts. But. Yeah, he loves those, by the yeah, way. Yeah. That's one of his favorite shirts to wear. He's right on. So. <laughs> we're going to have to get you a big shirt. Ooh. We'll cut that up. And yeah, cut the sleeves stuff. off, cut the, <laughs> cut the neck out. But okay. yeah, so yeah, guys, get a session. I would love to join you if you guys want yeah, as well. Yeah. It'd be really good. Get yeah. him on, get a session of us together. Be great. Keep doing yeah. it, man. I will. Thank you, Jake. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep wrapping up. So, um, so I mentioned, you know, 2020 is going to be awesome for us, man. And, uh, you know, I, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate. I'm going to look into the camera and tell you guys how much I appreciate all the support. Even the good comments and the bad comments. And I, yes, I'm the one that writes, get off the page, jerk off. <laughs> that Dave loves <laughs> when you guys comment on there. Um, I'm trying to feature more of Angie on there because I know people look at the relationship stuff and I think it's important. I would love to get her to the gym and train with me. Unfortunately, she doesn't always like to train. She says I train like a bodybuilder and she thinks that uh, she doesn't need to train like a bodybuilder. Um, and 2020, where hopefully the guy behind the camera, you guys love so much Dave Borlay, is gonna <laughs> get back on stage. That's our goal is to get him on stage. In 2008, you know, I, Dave, Dave competed in a show, okay, and and for a long time I said, listen, you can't compete because you represent me, so you got to be ready. So now, since I'm officially retired, I let Dave compete as much as he wants, and we're gonna get him back on the stage, right? That's the goal. The, when do we when do we eye in that? Do we know? I think after after the second part of the year, so I say after after June, okay, you know. So, he's, he's so gonna shoot for are you gonna shoot for a Vegas show? Are you gonna. Talk about um, the mass and do the Cutler show. You gotta come in love. August and compete at the Jay Cutler Virginia or what? That'd be great in August in Virginia. Yeah. I love competing back east. I did your show, like I said, in New uh, Boston. Boston. Yeah, yeah. Boston. That was good. You did pretty well with that. I show, got third. Actually. It was yeah, a tough yeah. lineup, man. Yeah. Steve Weinberger like judging you, man. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're on January third. 2020 it's gonna it's hard to write those i don't write checks anymore thank god because i you know how many times i used to write the wrong year at the first <laughs> the wrong year so now of course yeah. it's all uh all my electronics checks are, yeah it's on, uh, on, the, on the desktop so uh 2020 is among us and we're you know we're excited to be here man and i'm healthy and you know i wish you guys the best of health keep those resolutions i, I hate resolutions but i know some of you guys are like kidding me up and like yeah hey, my goal is to lose weight or put on muscle Let's keep doing it together, man. Keep following the channel. If you guys aren't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below uh, and uh, keep commenting, okay? Comment who you want to see, why you want to see them, and uh, and if you have any good tips um, for like who maybe might be the up and coming stars, let me know because I'm not familiar with everyone on the planet out there. So I want to say just a reminder, as a reminder for people that tomorrow you have a Cutler Club where you will be talking oh, about resolution is going to be edited yeah, yeah i'll do it tonight yeah. yeah cutler club but you have to be a member so you have to yeah. sign up for the cutler club yeah it's uh cutlerclub.com and you can sign up for Boom. uh the yearly membership because that's the yearly subscribers get to uh join me on the two week every bi-weekly chats awesome 
Okay. Cool. Thanks, Jim. So we're out.